Madness80 here. Video game figures. Some of my favorite figures to collect. Pokemon being no exception, like this Charizard from Jazzwares. I think Wicked Cool Toys was the original uh, license holder, and Jazzwares is now slapping their name on it. Um, Wicked Cool Toys, Jazzwares, you know what? They're doing all right with video game figures. Between Fortnite and Halo, and the Halo figures are okay. You know, there's still room for improvement. But it, the Fortnite line, you, you've heard me gush over that. Uh, sad to see the six inch line go, but this Pokemon line, there's a few gems, and this looks like it's one of them. Uh, $20 figure, I think it dropped on Father's Day. So I'm late, late AF, uh, but I don't care. I wanna compare this to the D Arts version, which is super expensive in the aftermarket now. Only released uh, twice and gone now, likely forever. But $20 figure here huge nice charizard there in the back other figures in the line so wicked cool toys or jazzwares what am i saying jazzwares we'll just say jazzwares from now on so you can see my box is beat up thanks to the target employees uh, i did store pickup and he picked it up by this and that happened but their scale has been pretty good um so this articuno this grand ninja and this rayquaza I'm assuming this guy's giant, and then this guy's a little bigger than, than Charizard, and the Greninja should be about maybe Charizard's height. Uh, really looking forward. I do have a, a Greninja, I think from the previous license holders. I can't even think, remember their names are. Um, but if you've seen those, let me know in the comments. But I think for now, this is the only articulated deluxe or Pokemon Select, as you can see, figure there. So let's rip this dude open now zero charizard out of package dude this this figure is awesome and it came with this flight stand which uh i forgot about you know i've seen one or two reviews on this and it's obviously what sold me so i was able to put an order in at target again these dropped on father's day but i went ahead and got the skull of god um no i got battle cat and i think that's it that's what i chose to buy and yeah, this took about a week to ship to my store locally, um, and it looks fantastic, man. For 20 bucks, flight stand, articulated Pokemon, giant deluxe figure, awesome. My only gripe is the stupid rubber bands that were around there, you could see grinded into his belly, and that, that pisses me off, so pretty mad about that. The rest of the figure, though, looks awesome. Let's get him up close. All right, adjust him in there just to get him in focus. Oh, I should get him off the stand is what I should do. I'll take a look at that after, but here is Charizard. Nice paint there on the eyes. Looks like eyes are printed. Fantastic. Articulated mouth, articulated neck. Lots of articulation on this guy. So, again, my nasty scratch, nice yellow paint on the belly. Yellow ish, off yellow. I don't know what you want to call it. This is a little eh, you know. They get a, a, a B for effort. I don't know what to say about this. I feel like something else could have been done. Maybe a translucent piece of plastic. Orange with some red and yellow highlights there. Nice blue, nice hinges there. Good piece. So he did come with, I, get, I mentioned, a stand. Uh, so if you had any of the D-Arts, you know, this was the Pokeball logo. That would have been nice to see here. Maybe they couldn't do that because Bandai did that at one point. But it's just a nice, clear stand. You can see my fingerprint already on there. And it's pretty short, so it's really just for his belly. You can see the hole there. And boom. Awesome. All right, I thought I'd bring out the D-Arts and compare articulation that way. Um, so obviously one, you know, I don't even remember what this costs retail, but I know aftermarket's like close to 300 or plus, you know, that I want to say this is maybe 60, 70, 80 bucks. Uh, I could be wrong. I feel like I got this like 2012, maybe before that. Um, yeah, you know, 2012, 2021. So big difference. Pokemon, at least its domestic license, has passed through a couple hands at that point. But this is 
another fantastic piece. But you know what? Having it next to this $20 figure makes me appreciate this $20 figure as well. Um, because I don't, you know, you know how much this thing is worth and you just feel scared to handle it at this point. But you can see it is definitely smaller. Let's get it off its flight stand. Let's get this one off its flight stand. And you can just see there. This one is a bigger figure, which I, I would prefer. The bigger, the better. I like these big, chunky figures. Uh, and his face isn't bad. Usually, you know, from one import, uh, when comparing an import to a domestic figure, some details are lost. But look at that. I mean, the sculpt is there. It's just the paint. You know, you got some highlights there, some red highlights on that orange, on the longest cheekbones under his eyes, on top of his snout. And this is just that plastic orange. Eyes look cartoony enough. These eyes look just as cartoony. You know, similar paint on the on the belly, yellow. No articulated hands there, just uh, swiveled, I believe. This one, same thing, a swivel, but not, you know, pose very differently. These look more natural, like, I don't know what these, this, the, the pose he's doing here. I can't tell what his thumb would be. I guess he doesn't have one, seem like that. But it looks more claw-like on this domestic one, where this import one uh, it looks a little strange. More articulation on the wings here, obviously. And so it's connected by a ball joint, to, uh, ball, sorry, a dumbbell which acts like a ball on there. Barely any movement though, but there's that extra hinge here, which does help. So this hinge goes back, this hinge goes forward. We just got this hinge here, which kind of goes forward. And you can see there's the hinge on there. With huge flapping motion, which we can't really do here because it would just come out of its ball, its dumbbell. However, the tail is segmented much more on this import uh, and it is a better plastic. You know, I don't think it would have cost Jazzwares too much money to use a translucent plastic on the domestic release here. But this looks nice. But there is no blending of the red and yellow. So it, it's painted similar to this, just in a translucent plastic. It did, did come with an effect, which the domestic version doesn't. And it's the similar type of plastic as seen in the tail. But the colors are, I was just say blended a little better, but they're not. You can see it's kind of yellow there. It just looks like it blends better because of you can see right through it you can see it has a peg hole there so you can place it on its flight stand doing some off camera work so you do that and you get that look there and get the wing out of the way cool but i don't know not not too necessary this one also goes above and beyond yeah we have jaw movement here and a detailed mouth so we got painted teeth a nice painted tongue nice red in the mouth and then this one here i believe the tongue is articulated which you can see me moving there uh extra and awesome you know but not necessary but i really do appreciate that extra mile Legs here, though, are, are like pre-pose. So this one does have a knee joint, and this is just all. Oh, okay. Never mind. But still, it's still bent that way. I guess this one is too. No, you can straighten it out more. It does have some good range. And you do get pivot and all that stuff. Hinge swivel, pivot, all that. Uh, I think this is on a ball. Am I able to pop this out? Man, it is on a ball felt like a ball and again you could see some shading differences there just like in the wings darker blue outline lighter blue on the inside this is just a solid blue stand like i mentioned pokemon pokeball logo there this was just a clear stand uh not too big of a deal too big of a difference uh, if you don't have this, even if you did, 20 bucks, what do you, what's, what do you got to lose? So just to reiterate and just go through his articulation independently of the import, we got a hinge and a swivel. Is a swivel independently? Yes. Hinge jaw. Fantastic. We got another hinge and swivel down here. Good range for some flight poses. Coming to the shoulders, these are on balls. 
bicep cut, double jointed elbows, hinged wrists only, sorry, swivel wrists only. We talked about the legs. These are not too much out. But you know, you got some decent forward and back, good knee, forward, back, all that stuff. Uh, one here, this is only going up and down. This is only going up and down. Oh, okay, because they're all hinges, so hinge and swivel. The tail itself does not spin the fire. Flame piece does not spin independently of the tail. So wings, again, are on a hinge. And then there's a hinge here. So you can go either way. You will break this, the paint line there. That's all right. Looking fantastic. Let's do some comparisons. So here they are on flat ground. D Arts Charizard. Jazzwares Charizard. Oh, man, this Jazzwares one is awesome, dude. I'm very, again, very happy to own this. Very rare figure. Fantastic. Was part of my Smash collection. You know, this is the Charizard I considered. But now with this, I mean, except for that scratch in the belly, I got to find somebody to patch that dude up. And here's a Jazzwares Charizard with a couple other D Arts figures from the same uh, line as the previous Charizard. So there's Venusaur and Blastoise looking fantastic. At this point, because he scales larger, I can only hope Jazzwares does come out with their own versions of Venusaur and Blastoise. And again, I you know, a domestic figure I'd rather mess around with than an import figure. Uh, these are more at this point because of their costs and uh, aftermarket price display pieces. And here's the Jazzwares Charizard with uh, Tomy Ash and Figma Red. So Ash from the anime, as you know, Red from the Game Boy uh, first Pokemon release. Looking, you know, fantastic together. I don't know if Jazzwares has made any trainers. Uh, let me know in the comments if you know. Uh, and if there are any trainers coming, because uh, another Ash Catchem catch would be nice. I couldn't find my SHF Ash or Team Rocket for whatever reason. I think I may, I'm, in a, I'm starting to move, and I think I may have moved those already or packed them up. This red Figma is fantastic, holds up. I'm um, surprised never came out with the green, but, you know, I, I would love it if Jazzwares took a stab at, at red and green. And a new Ash Catchem. These three starter Pokemon did come with this Figma Red, so you can see his first evolution. I don't have a Charmeleon uh, to show you guys the second evolution of this Charizard. And just for kicks, here is a Jax Pacific Mario with Cappy from Mario Odyssey with the Jazzwares Charizard in case you wanted to see or start a Super Smash Brothers display. Uh, it works. Get them, pick them up. And for, get some Jack specific Mario toys, man. That's a, a fantastic toy line. That I don't, I don't know if people are sleeping on them. They're, they've been on the shelves for years, but they do re-release a lot of stuff. So don't feel like you missed out because they're likely to repackage stuff and sell it to you again. But I would definitely recommend this figure as a Pokemon fan, as a Smash Brothers fan, as a gamer. Uh, it's a fantastic buy for twenty bucks. Uh, more articulation than some uh, other twenty dollar figures that are out there. But it looks good. It is awesome. And worth the money. Do it. I love checking out video game toys. Hopefully you like watching videos about video game toys. And I'll see you in the next one.